Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are unions and we'll understand how to initialize and declare a union and some example programs. So first let's understand what's an union. Conceptually union is same as structure. So in the last class we have learned a lot about structure. So union is also same as structure here. So here also we're going to bind different types of uh, variables together in a single unit. Uh, but here we use the keyword union. But in some cases union is different. Let us look how is that. A union is a collection of different data variables as we did in the structure. And here they all group together. Each element in a union is also called as a member. Union allocates one common storage space for all its members, whereas structure allocates storage space for all its members separately. So this is the difference between union and a structure. So the memory allocation for the structure members happens separately for each member, whereas in the union a single common memory space is allocated for all of its members. So at any given point of time only one member is, uh, is, is to be in the memory location when we when we're going to access it. We can access only one member of union at a time. We can't access all members values or member values at the same time in union. So we can access only one member at a time while doing so uh, that member comes into the memory and when we try to access another it, it goes back to its original place and the next uh, the next member comes into the memory so at any given point of time we can access only one member of the union right so and any one member is allowed to initialize at a time as well so you cannot initialize all the all union members at the same time so declaring a union is same as the structure the difference here is uh, here we use the keyword union and everything remains the same. So let's go and write a program to demonstrate union. So in the case of union, uh, here also we declare or define the union outside the main function as we did in the structure, right? So before the main void main statement, I'm defining the union with the keyword union, union with the union name let's say data and in the inside the pair of curly brackets we're going to initialize uh, I mean declare the members int id car name and float percent right so here also so here also we need a union or variable right so using which we are going to access all those members inside the union so to assign the ID I'll use d1 dot ID equals to 20 right so so I said like uh, so what I said is you can initialize any any one field at the same time you cannot initialize all those together and at the same time right so this this can happen so let's go and print it ID is equal to percent D comma d1 dot id here also we use the union variable to access the uh, members control f9 yeah we have got the answer so what happens if we try to access uh, any two or more than one field let's try out that say suppose i'm accepting the string d1 dot name and I'm 
and I am initializing the percent variable also. equal to percent s d1 dot name so let's run this control f now so friends can you see this id equal to zero name is nothing and percentage is 23.5 so that means we can access uh, the last assigned variable right we cannot access or we cannot print all the variables at the same time so here we have got just uh, this 23.5 printed out so not the name not the id also so that means we can uh, we can come to know that union can access union gives access to any one variable at a time right so what is the memory allocation So I said only one space is allocated for all the three uh, variables, all the three members. So what is the space allocated for these three members? So the space is common for all those three variables, but the size needed for int and the size for char and the size for float all are different, right? So how can it be common? So union chooses or compiler chooses the greatest uh, variable to allocate the space, right? Let's go and print the memory allocated for this union so using the uh, size of operator size for size for the union is equal to percent d bytes right comma i'll use size of so what i need to pass here d1 right so d1 is the union variable control f9 oops function call yeah I should close this function control f9 so the size for the union is 20 bytes because the compiler chose a name variable as the greatest or the variable which has got the largest memory location so only the variable with the largest memory location is going to be is going to be the memory for all the other variables right so now let's understand what is the difference between structures and unions so struct keyword is used to declare structure and union keyword is used to declare the union we can access all the members of structure at any time only one member of union can be accessed at any time memory is allocated for all members separately memory is allocated only for that member which has the highest size all members of structure can be initialized at a time only one member of a union can be initialized at the same time well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you